up, everyone? All right, well, today's a red day recap. This is, this is predictable. I had a good day yesterday, great day yesterday. I even traded IRNT into the close, and I finished the day up $102,000. So when I did my recap, I was up 88,000, added another $15,000 of profit, uh, which is fantastic, so, or 14,000. Uh, however, this morning I sat down and IRNT was already starting to pull back. My first trade on it made 1700 bucks. Wasn't that impressive. Uh, I was kind of disappointed. Second trade on it, I lost $12,000. Third trade, I lost another 6000 And like that, I was down 18000 I then took a trade on one other stock and it was a bull trap and I lost thirteen grand on that. And that put me down 32000 on the day. I can't really keep trading at that point. I'm below my $20,000 max loss, which means I have a 12% chance of making back that money and an 88% chance of uh, increasing the loss by 50%. So I'm down 32,000 and I'm choosing to walk away before I'm down like 45 or 47,000. I'm giving back a third of yesterday's profits. All things considered, that's not that bad. Um, yesterday I ended up closing at the high. It's very common that I end up giving back 10, 20, or even 30% uh, by the end of the day. I might be up 100, but then finish the day up only 70, only 70. Yesterday I was up 102, but then stopped when I was up 88, thinking that was it. And then we got opportunities on IRNT later, and I did trade those. I happened to be in front of my computer. I'm not gonna do that today though, because I'm red and it's not worth, um, it, it, I just don't want to dig the hole deeper, right? Clearly we don't have hot momentum today. It was really hot yesterday, but because um, INDP failed so hard. I was concerned about how that would impact trading today. But then with IRNT holding up so well, after hours, I thought, well, maybe we will have a good day today. And I think what happens is after a really big green day, you come in the next day hyped, feeling good, excited, ready to have another big green day. And you get a little too aggressive, taking a little bit too much risk. And then just like that, you're sitting with a red day and you're either gonna start getting desperate to make it back or you're gonna just say, you know what? I'll live to trade another day. I'll be back tomorrow. And that's what I'm doing. So as always, my results are not typical, so you shouldn't try to blindly follow me or anyone else. Trading is risky and most beginner traders lose money. So I encourage you to trade in a simulator before you put real money on the line. Hope you guys enjoy the recap. It's a red day recap, but um, it's all right. Live to trade another day. I'll be back at it on Friday. I'm still up between yesterday and today, $70,000. It's a great week. And I was green on um, Monday and Tuesday, I believe as well. I don't remember now by how much, but um, it's a good week. So life is good. All right, see you guys uh, tomorrow on Friday. All right, well, uh, up $646 in my retirement account and down 32,000 in my main account. So it's a $32,000 red day. Yesterday I actually finished the day up 102,000, which was great. Uh, I had some nice trades on IRNT after hours into the close and after hours. And I was up 22,000 on it and gave all of that except for 5,000 back. Lost 17,000 on it today. I tried to trade it um, once right here, I tried, well, once right here, and that failed, a second time here, and a third time right here, and a fourth time right there. This was a $600 winner in my retirement account. Uh, this was a $15,000, or no, this was a $12,000 loss, and then this was a $6,000 loss. So, uh, you know, unfortunately, it's kind of what I thought would happen, which is the move was after hours and then early pre-market. And then by the time the bell was ringing, it was it was pulling back and it was fading. So I tried to trade it. I thought there might be a little bit more opportunity, but um, there, there wasn't. So that was that. INDP, I didn't trade this one today. It's very hard to trust after that. Uh, rejection and, and sell-off yesterday, but it's certainly been volatile from a low of 10 to a high of 15, but no trades on that. EFTR jumped in that. It was a total bull trap. Bought the break of 22, hit a high of uh, 22.85. I added, my cost basis was like 22.40, and then lost a dollar a share as it dropped back down on about 12,000 shares. 
So I lost 13,000 on that. And PMCB was my first trade of the day. I bought for the break of four and you could see it hit a high of 403, 401 or something, but it did not hold up at all. So kind of disappointing. Uh, somewhat predictable. It's very often that I'll have a big red day following a big green day because I'm come in, I'm hyped up, I'm ready to be aggressive, and then you know there's no follow through. So my first loss on PMCB of a thousand bucks, I was like, that's no big deal. My second trade on IRNT uh, was a seventeen hundred dollar winner. That was uh, pre market on this candle right here, but so I was up six hundred on the day. And then my next trade was right here as it was going into the halt and instantly lost 12 grand, right? And then from there, tried to do a double bottom at 30, um, 39, 32 and was down 18,000. And within a couple minutes, EFTR hit the scans. I jumped in that bull trap and lost another 13 grand. And, and then I was down 32,000 and that was that. So that's discouraging, uh, but on the other hand, Yesterday I was up 102,000, today I'm down 32, so I'm still up 70,000 in two days, which is good. In hindsight, maybe I shouldn't have traded at all after 9.30 when I was only up 600 bucks. The fact that my four trades pre-market on PMCB and IRNT weren't producing really any meaningful profit was probably an indicator that this wasn't gonna be a great day, but you know, there's always hope and we could have always gotten perhaps a red to green move. And yesterday, for what it's worth on IP, um, whatever this one is, IPDN uh, or IM, INDP, uh, my first trade, I was up 15,000 pre-market and my first trade, once the bell rang, I lost 5,000. I got in for the break of 1250, it dropped, I lost 5,000 and then I got back in right here and made 10,000. So, you know, had I stopped yesterday pre-market, I would have been walking away with 15,000 instead of uh, 102,000. So if I'd stopped at pre-market today, yeah, I wouldn't be down 30 grand, but you know, it just, so yesterday was a little choppy pre-market and, and today was as well. And yesterday we still ended up having a great day, but today we didn't. So in any case, um, throwing in the towel here, was hoping maybe we would see something start to open up. IRNT was kind of giving that a chance. I'd like to see parabolic momentum, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to trade. I'm not, to, I'm not gonna try to trade something like BBIG for 10, 15 cents. It just it's not it's just not even worth it. I mean, when you're down as much as I am today, these types of trades make no meaningful dent. And on the other hand, to get up, you know, 50, 75,000, 80,000 or 100,000 dollars, it's not going to happen on a stock like this. It's going to happen on a stock like IRNT that's going up, you know, like this from 30 to 40 or yesterday IPDN that was going obviously, you know, uh, I, I NDP, um, INDP yesterday that was going from, you know, 11 to 20. It's just not going to happen today, so there's not really any point in uh, sticking it out. I'm on a red day, no reason to make the red day bigger. Just let it be what it is. Come back tomorrow, new day. So that's the game plan and um, yeah, red day recap, but had a great day yesterday, so don't want to get um, too disappointed, but I'm, I'm disappointed, but you know, it is what it is. So I don't know, that's it. I'll be back tomorrow. I hope you really enjoyed that video and make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Our goal is to hit 1 million subscribers this year, but we won't get there without your help. So please, please, please hit that subscribe button.